Hi everybody, it's Mr. Orm again. We're back to have a little think about Kenzuki's kingdom. Now, as we've read so far, we've found out about Michael and his family and their love of sailing. We've learned about how they lost their jobs, how they have decided to head out on this incredible adventure around the world doing what they love. It was dad's idea and the family have gone along. So they've trained and they're ready to set off on their journey at sea. Now, what I thought might be really nice today as a little writing activity is to think about writing a letter from Michael. And I thought he could write back home to his old football team, the Mudlarks, if you remember them, that get mentioned at the beginning of the story, all his friends that he played football with. I thought it might be really cool if Michael was to write them a letter just before he left to let them know what's going on. So I'm going to start the letter today. We're going to write an opening and then I'm going to leave you to think about, right, how could we continue this story, this letter? What else are we going to put? And you're going to finish the letter yourselves. So we'll get started. I've already popped a little address at the top there in the right hand corner because we are writing a letter. So the Peggy Sue, Portsmouth Dock, England. And I've just written today's date. We'll just pretend that we're writing it today and we'll, I've used that date. So first things first, how would he start his letter? Now, often in letters we say, dear such and such, but this is Michael's a child, isn't he? So we need to put ourselves in that frame of mind, just like when we wrote our letters about um, a boy in the girl's bathroom and we put ourselves in that place of a child and we thought about that voice and that effect on the reader. So that's what I'm really going to try to do today with my opening is to make it obvious that this is a child writing to their friend. So how might he start the letter? I'm going to start, rather than saying, dear mudlarks, I might just start by saying, hey guys, and I'm gonna use an exclamation mark as well. Hey guys, because he's kind of really, you know, happy to see them, guess who? You know, you're never gonna believe this, hey guys. So I'm starting my letter with, hey guys. Now, I think he would possibly, because he's a child, he's going to write like he would speak. Now, when I see somebody, I often say, hi, how are you doing? Or hi, how's it going? So I'm going to use that as my opening sentence. I'm going to ask that question. It's kind of a rhetorical question. He's not necessarily expecting a reply, but he, it's the sort of thing he might start with. So he might start by saying, how's, using my apostrophe, how's it going? Now, because he's writing to the mudlarks, he's probably going to mention them, isn't he? He's probably going to make, you know, that's going to be one of the first things he mentions is the Mudlarks football team. So what could I write next? Let's have a think. Uh, he might make a little joke perhaps. So what about this? I hope, I hope the team have managed to win a few games without their star player. So he might put that in. He might kind of make a bit of a joke and pretend how good he was. I hope the team... have managed to win a few games without their star player. And I'm going to use an exclamation mark, I think, just to kind of emphasize the point that he's kind of joking and being a bit silly. So I hope the team have managed to win a few games without their star player. Now, he's going to start to, you know, tell them here. So my next sentence. You're never, you're never going to believe where I'm. You're never going to believe where I'm writing from. So can you see there in that sentence, you're never going to believe where I'm writing from. Instead of saying you're never going to believe, I've said you're never going to believe. Because when we're putting ourselves in that mindset as this child, Michael, he might use a little bit of slang terminology. He might write in the way that he would speak. So let's have a little read back of my, my fairly short opening for this letter. Hey, guys, how's it going? I hope the team have managed to win a few games without their star player. You're never going to believe where I'm writing from. So he's kind of introduced that it's 
you know, hey guys, how you doing? He's asking them how they're getting on. He's made a little joke about the team that they used to play with. And now he's, got, he's about to kind of tell them what's going on. So I'm going to read you the rest of mine. I'm not going to write it on here because I want you to think about your own continuation of this letter. But I carried on. So I'll read my beginning again and then I'll continue. Hey, guys, how's it going? I hope the team have managed to win a few games without their star player. You're never going to guess where I'm writing from. So you know how my parents lost their jobs? Well, my dad has had this crazy idea that we should sail around the world. He's bought us a boat, the Peggy Sue, and we set sail tomorrow. Can you believe it? I'm not exactly sure where we're heading yet. It's all a bit scary, really. Exciting, but scary. Anyway, I'll write again when we get to our first stop. Can't have you lot forgetting about me, can I? Come on, the mudlarks. Catch you later, Michael. So, in my letter, I'm going to put a few bullet points at the bottom just to kind of remind you of things that we might include. So, I've mentioned... Why are they sailing? Why are they setting off on this journey? I've talked about how he feels about it. Very important because he would mention that. And I've also talked about writing again soon, or I might, you might even explain using your storyboards that we did, where they're heading. You might, you know, you can add that detail. There's no right or wrong. So I want you to think about the big, big thing I want us to think about in this when we're writing this letter is to concentrate on Michael and his point of view and his voice. So I've started the letter there. How's it going? The team have managed to, how's it going? The team have managed to win a few games without their star player. You're never going to believe where I'm writing from. And then when you carry on this letter, you could talk about why they're set in sale. So that would be your next paragraph. Then how does he feel about it? Could be the next paragraph. And then a kind of an ending where he might talk about writing back soon. You know, maybe he misses the guys and that kind of thing. But all through it, I really want you to make sure you think about this Michael's voice that is so important so think about how would he write what sort of things would he say how is he going to phrase his sentences what sort of language and vocabulary would he use so there's your little challenge for today a little writing task to go away and have a think about writing a letter from Michael back to his friends in the mudlarks back home telling him all about this crazy adventure that he's about to embark on okay have fun happy writing and I'll see you again soon bye